What's going on YouTube, Realty Dog again? Uh, this is kind of like a follow-up video to my uh, unboxing video of my new SS16 uh, Speed and Strength helmet. This video is just going to be me, you know, taking this GoPro off my original helmet and then putting it on the Speed and Strength helmet. Uh, first off, take off the GoPro itself. Now, on, unlike this KBC helmet, see this KBC helmet has a huge chin bar with like just a void, has a nothing there. That's why I was able to just directly attach the GoPro there. But unfortunately, the speed and strength. Fortunately, the speed and strength has this big chin vent right here. So what I'm gonna do is mount it here to the side and have it come around the side. You can kind of see on this, you know, I, I, mean, I use the uh, the GoPro J hook uh, clip, and I bought this. These aren't this isn't a GoPro branded uh, attachment, but I bought it off eBay or uh, Amazon. Came in a pack of three, uh, three of them in different lengths. This was the shortest one actually, and you could kind of see uh, right here. <laughs> actually, I need to get a screwdriver and undo that. That uh. That screw, but anyways, you can kind of see. Let me see. It's hard. Well, it's tightened. I electric taped a piece of cardboard. I folded a piece of cardboard and electric taped here as kind of like an index point, so that way it won't go, won't press in any any more, any deeper. So that that angle would be fixed. It'll only the angle, only movable angle would be the GoPro itself. But uh, that's going away. <laughs> also, right here is my mic attachment or mic adapter for the GoPro Hero 4. Take that off too. This right here is the mic attached is a mic adapter. I actually would have <laughs> fun fact, I actually would have started moto vlogging like late last year. But one of the factors of me not doing it is because this and I ordered it off Amazon, the supplier. I guess they had problems with their shipper or something. I don't know, but it took over a month for this to show up when it only should have taken like a week or two it was shipped it shipped from china but but even for china that's way too long matter of fact i even canceled it but then like the next day or two it showed up i you know so whatever they still refunded me i think and then right here i tucked in the microphone itself now unfortunately i kind of sticky glued it or whatever to this breath guard that's where the microphone was at so it's probably gonna tear. Oh, actually no, it didn't. It's tear as much as bad as I thought it would be. This KBC is officially retired. Well, I get, it's still usable, so I'll probably just have it like backup helmet status. But it uh, it served me well. But it was bound. This was bound to happen. Now the trick to this will be trying to figure out the angle. Along with the helmet, I ordered um some new attachments that help pull this off but first you're gonna need one of these mounts uh, I bought a, bu a bundle pack off Amazon this is a it came with a bunch um, some flat some curved so you know I'll, I'll probably link it um, in the description it's gonna be more or less right here so I got this curved attachment this curved uh, arm attachment or whatever you call it and I also got this 90 degree one all these are off Amazon by the way see check that out gonna be curving around the front more or less like that it's gonna be slightly off centered because it can only reach so far but that's fine because I think the Lens itself would be centered, which is fine. It's not the GoPro I need centered; it's the lens. Uh, you know, to make it ideal. Yeah, I think that's gonna work right there. So right now, I'm just trying to set it up to where I can find the perfect position and angle before I actually stick it on the mount. I'm trying to figure it out. So this this part will probably take a while. Two hours later. All right, that actually took a lot longer than I was hoping. Trying to get it as perfect as possible was uh, pretty annoying. 
but there it is it's more or less centered the lenses at least yeah, it's more or less angled the way it's you know it should be straight up uh, straight ahead up and down not you know, left not left and left and right and all that stuff and uh, replace these uh thumb screws with actual screws these are uh, same thread pitch but they're a uh, hex key heads I replaced the uh, one here and then one here. I left the thumb screw here because if I was when I do take off this Go GoPro, it's gonna be there. And then I have to run the uh, microphone adapter down here to the front, and down here, electrical taped the little connection part right here. And running back here, excess wires behind this cheek pad. And right here, right right above the chin curtains where the microphone's at. I, I mean, you can't see it, but went ahead and took off the quick clips of, a, of a, that helmet and uh, put on this helmet. I'm gonna go electrical, electrical tape these uh, excess straps and D rings. But yeah, this, this, uh, Helmet is ready for uh, moto vlogging and all that stuff. It's kind of late right now, so I'm probably gonna go to sleep. And I'll be testing out this this GoPro setup as well as christening this helmet's first ride tomorrow morning on the way to work. So I'll see you there in a minute. All right, so I'm back. It's the next morning, riding to work, and uh, I hope y'all can see this. Because I'm sure having a hard time because it's really, really misty, really foggy. Didn't expect this good old Texas weather, bipolar, can't trust weather apps, weather, weather people in the news. But anyways, so yeah, I'm wearing the uh, speed and strength helmet and I'm big, well, this mist is kind of ruining the experience, but I'm digging it. And I hope y'all can see it, because this mist might be affecting the GoPro right now. If it is, I apologize. I'm trying to wipe it off, wipe off the, the lens here and there. Ass. But yeah, other than this stupid ass mist and all that, I like this helmet so far. After work, when it's when the sun's out and all that, I have a reason to use that drop down sun visor. I definitely don't hear any whistling. That's for sure. That's a such a relief. No wind whistling wind noise I'm not sure yet but obviously but I feel a little bit of uh, water accumulating on the front of my legs it sucks oh well I chose this life I do love the feel of new good quality helmet padding and such I could feel this uh, helmet hugging me hugging my head not too tight, obviously. Otherwise, I would have said something. But every time I move my head, there's no like shake in the helmet because it's snug. And I have to gravel. Ooh, slow down. Gonna get some gas. I ain't got shit left in this tank. And we're back. Just got out of work. Finally get to test the uh, little sunshade and all that on the helmet. Thought it was going to be sunnier today, but I guess not. The weather's been so stupid lately down here. I'm leaving work, going to the gym, and trying this helmet out for the first time during the day. Coworker Z1000, nice. Oh, time to test the visor. Woo! Oh, damn, that's nice. 
Oh yeah, definitely, definitely makes a difference. I need to get some gas. I'm almost out. Oh, there's a gas station up here though. That's convenient as hell on this visor. What the hell is he listening to over there? <laughs> Sounds like some Indian or Islamic shit, I don't know. I will say this about the helmet, I'm still eh about this breath guard in front of my nose. I don't know if I like it or like or dislike it. I can't wait to get exhaust for this one of these days. Oh, I, I just cleaned this hole too. It's all dirty from this morning's misty, foggy ride. Oh, pothole right there. Nope. Not today, pothole. Yeah, I'm here at the, my gym. Loving this helmet. Hopefully this GoPro footage is good good enough too. So anyways, I guess I'll end it for this one. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff if you like. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.